Hello viewers, I welcome you all in 5 minutes information channel and this is episode number 75 and in this episode I will talk about the data types in research analysis. Viewer guidance you can get the notes of this video lecture on URL link mentioned on this video description. In this video I will talk about the 4 main points about the data types. Number 1. What is data? Number 2. What are the types of data in research? Number three, what are the qualitative data research type? And number four, what are the quantitative data research type? Point number one, what is data? Data is a fact or information used usually to calculate, analyze, or plan something in a statical number or values. Question number two, what are the types of data in research analysis? There are two types of data in research. Number one, qualitative data. Qualitative data cannot be expressed as a number or cannot be measured. Qualitative data consists of words, picture, and symbol. Qualitative data is also called the categorical data because the information can be stored in a category not by number for example of the qualitative data colors gender weather and ethnicity number two quantitative data quantitative data seems to be easiest to explain it answers the key question such as how many how much and how often example of the quantitative data student marks in exam in any specific subject student weights height of any specific class or the age of the students point number three what are the qualitative data research type qualitative data has two types a nominal data b ordinal data nominal data nominal data is just used for the labeling of the variable without any types of the quantitative value the name of nominal come from the latin words nomino which means name the nominal data just a things without applying its order actually the nominal data just called the label the example of the nominal data colors like red blue green and etc gender like men and women weather like summer winter fall spring and ethnicity like asian american african and etc b ordinal data ordinal data is a data which is placed into some kind of order by their position on a scale ordinal data may indicate the superiority ordinal data shows where a number is in order this is the crucial difference from nominal types of data example of ordinal data is a economic status like low medium or high like the income of the people high income middle income low income or below average and etc point number four what are the quantitative data research? There are two types of the quantitative data. A. Discrete data and B. Continuous data. Discrete data is a count that involves only integers. Discrete values cannot be subdivided into the parts. For example, the number of students in a class is a discrete data. You cannot divide the students into whole number. To put the other words, the discrete data can take only certain values. The data variables cannot be divided into the smaller parts or the fraction. Example of the discrete data. Number one, the number of students in a class. The number of employees working in a specific company. The number of players take part in a specific game. B, continuous data. Continuous data information that can be meaningful and divide into finer levels. It can be measured on a scale or quantum that can 
have almost a very very numeric value you can record the continuous data in many different measurements like the width temperature time and etc example of the continuous data like the body temperature 99.5 to 105.6 so there are plenty of numbers and each point has value similarly the height of a school students fall from the 4 feet to 6 feet and there are number of points are exist in each decimal place here i conclude the episode number 75 i hope you get the information about the data and types of research data qualitative data and quantitative data in next episode i will talk about the difference between the qualitative and quantitative data nominal versus ordinal data and discrete versus the continuous data. drop your comments if this video is informative and don't forget like and subscribe my stay tuned with five minutes information channel i will back soon thanks for watching till then <laughs>